All right. Okay. Hey guys. Um. All right. Let's let's get the installation process beginning. Um. I'm gonna try to make it. Um. You know, as effortless as possible, right? Um. Then, as I mentioned before, uh, you have a different PC, or you have a Mac, or you have a Linux machine. Um whether it be for, for company there might be some restrictions on like what can you download or not download um as well as if it's going to cost anything right uh, uh mm, so pretty much every single tool that you need um to create the automation framework is open source okay um which is amazing um uh, you know, it's open source, uh, free to use, um, and, you know, all the tools are open source, um, Selenium itself, it's open source, the, uh, JavaScript libraries, every, everything, Nightwatch itself, it, it's open source, right? So, pretty much you can automate the web for free. <laughs> Alright, let's begin, let's begin, right? So, <clears throat> I already downloaded Sublime, uh, text, but... I've put in the links for it if you wanted to go and look for it um, for specific ones. But let's just look, right? So let's just look at Sublime Text, right? So you can download this for Mac. You can download this for, whoops, whoa, I guess not. I don't know what happened there. I guess something is wrong. Uh, download, let's see. Huh, I guess Sublime is down. Weird. Um, that's interesting. Let's, we could download for example uh, notepad plus plus you know let's just say I'm gonna download this for Mac right uh, you can download it for uh, you can download it for Windows which is it's made for um, let's take a look hmm, I thought it would be pretty simple enough but uh, Let's actually, you know what? Let's download Adam. I don't have Adam yet for my Mac. I'm gonna download Adam. Okay. Um. Uh. It's very cool. It's like a beefier version of Sublime. If you if you get into coding, it has a lot of different packages. Um. Very cool. Um. Uh. You you'll get you'll get used to it. But it's in a sense, it's just an text editor right it's just a text editor you can just do for it all right let's go so I'm gonna download this all right so while while that is being downloaded right while Adam is being downloaded um let's take a look at the next thing which is node.js right so all we need to do uh node.js.org right simple enough you can download it. Um, I have it for Mac, but it's also available for Windows. Um, you will need Java, right? So you're going to need um, a Java setup. So w the way to find out, right? Even in even in uh, CMD, or if you have a Mac, you can just do this: Java dash dash version. You can run that command anywhere. Uh, I think I'm sorry. I think it's Java dash version. Right, so as you can see, I can I can see that Java version, it's 1.8. Okay, so I have Java. So you will need Java um, built in. I'm gonna have have a different recording uh, a video of, of, of the installation of Java for Windows specifically and and Mac in case um, if someone doesn't have it. Right. Okay. So you're gonna need Java. Then once you download Node, right. Um, uh let's just say I'm going to download this right it does this right uh, I already have it so I already have the node.js um, all you do simple like follow through continue continue it automatically just you know I already downloaded it um, and the way to check that right and once you download it so you click continue make sure everything is installed properly uh, just hit continue and and it'll just download very easy um, right but then you want to make sure that is downloaded and what version that you have right so same same thing node dash version uh, maybe not I'm pretty bad at this okay all right so 
version 6.9.3 okay so cool so I've downloaded no node already I've it's installed in my machine if you haven't go to the website and just download it right similarly I my Mac uh, Adam is is finished open it up unzip it all right, and there we have it. Boom, and my Atom is installed. Cool, uh, not right now. Okay, cool. There we go, a text editor, right? But similarly, I could just open my folder, my projects folder. Um, let's say we're And it just you know it's easy for us to get the folder structure there and then um, any report you know you can see that properly syntax you can have preferences it is different like the way to view it for example um, things you have atom light if you want I kind of like the darker version of it okay so let's see if that changed see so now I can it's in the dark one. Okay, cool. So that that was Adam. Now what else? So we did two things. We did the Adam and we did um node. Right now we need to download the Selenium server, right? So what you do is you go to Selenium, the their their website, you go to download, okay, and you're gonna download the standalone server, Selenium standalone server, which <clears throat> basically uh, it's it just a jar file that as you can see um, I'm going to show you in the folder selenium standalone just let's just leave it like that for now okay so that's all we need to do and then uh, the other thing what we need is uh, from the same website you just need a Google Chrome driver now if you have you know um, see as you can see selenium is it's you know very um, well worse it, it has a lot of different uh, functionality di different library you can hook it up to basically a lot of different things right so uh, for example an iOS driver or APM for mobile or you have like a Safari driver or ghost driver phantom JS which is you don't even need a browser it'll just go and test your test your um, website without having to go in um, clicking on uh, without having a needing a, a browser basically right okay so I'm gonna I just need Google Chrome driver for our purposes for now um, I'm gonna go and just I guess the latest version which is fine click on that let's go uh, I guess I can just go here okay cool um, go there and then just uh, whichever la latest version right now you know if it's for if it's for Linux you download Linux version for Mac, for Windows don't worry too much if it is if you do have a 64-bit um, um, Windows machine it will still work um, and uh, yeah I'm not too sure I haven't tried it with Linux but if you have a Windows just down you can download this and it, it will work even if you have a 64-bit uh, Windows machine okay now I'm going to for Mac I'll just do that show in folder it's downloading right and then I'm just gonna extract extract it okay cool there we go and so I have my my jar file and my chrome driver right so let's take a look so we have so we got the selenium server we downloaded a chrome driver now we need to download nightwatch itself right we need to download nightwatch itself so okay we can go to nightwatch.js you can you <clears throat> for you know for for someone who's not familiar with the whole npm packages because uh, you can you can do npm install uh, nightwatch but for for our purposes you can just go and download it right you just download it I've already have it so um, as you can see what I'm gonna do is just extract it again just open it and watch it as and there we go so here here we have the entire kind of the project structure now 
the problem that we have is, is so we, we basically installed uh, all the tools that we need but what's going to happen is that in order for us to run the test right um, for example when we this is the problem that a lot of uh, I've seen a lot of people face is that they know what it is they you know we know how to install everything and understand the automation testing but what tends to happen is that, as you can see, it says install the server. We did so, you know, we follow the the project structure. We install a node. We're gonna we install Nightwatch. We install the Selenium server, um, and we installed a Chrome driver for our run to run our, our browser. Right now, it doesn't necessarily tell you where and how to configure all of this. Right or configure um those the structure i'm going to show you a little bit i'm going to show you what um i'm going to show you what the difference is the, the difference between what we're going to do um what versus so a normal night watch structure uh, it looks like that let me open the other one and then um the new structure okay let me just side by side compare all of these two right so what happens is a normal night watch we just downloaded we saw this right we saw um the structure right it been folder these, these are all of there but what tends to happen is that um it gets a little bit um confusing and it doesn't know where to run it and there's things in there that we don't necessarily need that we may not need it it, it has um a lot of the things that are already built in it's already there and it kind of confuses a lot of people and even me when i first started right so what i tended to do was i created my own folder folder sorry uh created my own folder and um then i just put the night watch in itself right so what i did was if you look at it i created a lift directory then i created drivers and night watch itself so entire night watch project i i moved from their whole um when i downloaded i moved the entire night watch into the it's all content into into the night watch right and then um i created a log directory uh some report directory uh and test and created the nightwatch.json and nightwatch.js files outside the directory itself so you're able to control a lot more um for it but so this is the difference this is where um you know um me trying to help you guys and, and trying to um properly structure the, the the automation framework it's going to help us kind of avoid uh the all these obstacles right that you would face if you were to just follow the instructions or follow um the guidelines from there because sometimes it's not it's not clear and then when you run the test cases and you're not able to kind of um, configure everything right so so we install everything in the next video I'm going to you know go in depth on how to create your first project and uh, how to move all the installation that you've done right installation and all these different files and what it means and how it works and so forth right all right well, thank you everyone. I'll uh, see you in the next class.